Ani number two, Canada la le ina lega chia ina ve ya student visa ka ni ina ve ta kanda de la ni kya dikri khasi chia re. Number two, di ki kebien le chia yung tu ve ina Canada lumba de mona kora lega beure lumba shenda manda wa lumba laja laja ya ko lumba chupu thenge ya ko. What did you rest you and some of the Yinjimiji Tarin, Tandar Lord, the lockdown, the couple of Tuesday, the Lenche, Yahoo study cheap. Crime petrol, the Zumasha, the Sujan Singh, the Zugaji Masha, the Digi website, Kana, www.cic.gc.ca, then a chinche, and it Susu Kerikari Kari Dikana study Yapuchewina. तें दे यूंया लगता नहीं चाहिए ठेक मारे रो दी तंदा जवान नामला आह एजेंसी मांग बोले रे देशो इलीगल रे टीम की नामला आह टीम टीम की थोड़ी लगा चाहिए वो मारे अने दी टीम के रे कनाडा शुंग की तो तां चीना दी टीम के छह गए रे सो सो पेशा टेक गया क्या कुछ यो मार खुन्जू की क्या ना ला कैनेडा लोग जाए कि लेकर टे या तो जिसको चाहिए हो मारे कुरान सो तकर ना वेबसाइट ला ते चे उन दिशे सुन क्या ना शुगु जांग चे तंगी हो रहा है क्या ना सो किसी माध्यम से चे हो मारे कौन सो कि तकर ना चिवार मातो कौन सो कि पगला वीजा एम्बेसिल जवाई क्यों ता देल लेकर टेनियल जवाई क्यों दिने चि� हो क्यों मारे क्या कुछ यो मारे अने इलेगल रे अने दिग राय गारंटी क्या यो मारे सुसुग रांगे चिक पची क्या रे सुसुग रांझों चीने छेतो है ना वो दिले ना ना बसो इंजी मिंजी मिक्से के तंदा नर्स नर्सिंग थेंगे होता अने तंदा ट्रेड मंगुच योर डोसा अने देशो थोला ना बसो स्टडी चीजे फेतो है ना लंगा डोसा मंगबू योरे शुगु शुदां मंगबू योरे शुगु वर्क परमिट शुदां मंगबू योरे ओपन वर्क परमिट लो क्लोज वर्क परमिट दूसरे शुदां रोधां लोगा योरे अनि सोसो नारिया थ्यू नारिया तां अनि खंडेस दे कैनेडा टेंजा शिचाय दे तां दूसरे चांगमा लंगा मंगबू योरे अनि धंबो सोसो युगे दिखूं इंटरनेशनल लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टेस्ट तंग हुए ना पहले दी एंट्री एक्सप्रेस एंट्री देने ना में ता इज़ेड योरवा इज़ेड दूसरों ने इंजी रीडिंग राइडिंग अने स्पीकिंग दी लिसनिंग दी शी दी इंजी मिजी या बहुत चीने चंग कनेडियन एक्सपीरियंस कनेडियन स्पीकिंग रवा कनेडियन लैंग्व CBC दो ता चीना किनेडियन के इंग्लिश दी एक्सेंट दे हाँ कूरा वो जो जो कैचिंग वो पेर रहा अने नंबर जो खरी गाना पे ये ना दी गाना या को जांस शुए तब युगे की शी दो दी मेन दी जो ता गोदा मासूना ता एक्सप्रेस एंट्री औरे अने एक्सप्रेस एंट्री दी नालो लाने यहाँ लगा कासुम शिजी औरे लगाते चीज़ चलो फेडरल स्किल ट्रेड अने विशुंग की संदेह दी चाहे अने कनेडियन एक्सपीरियंस क्लास था कनाडा लाइन यहाँ मार लगा चीन लो न्यूंडा लो लोची की इंसाइड जी एक्सपीरियंस यो है ना अने एक्सप्रेस एंट्री ना यूं चोर वो दिन एक खास सुम से एक्सप्रेस एंट्री ना अने स्टूडेंट पे यहाँ पर ठुंगे यहाँ पर रॉ बेनिफिट यहाँ पर वो दिस समुदान चे अने जंबुलिंग ना पे जे कैनेडा डाउ ची ता वन ऑफ द टॉप इंगिर पे जे वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इंगिर ता लेगा एक थोले ना पेंजो थोले इन्हें रे नेतां सो नेतां थोले इन्हें रे रॉ कैनेडा पे यहाँ पर तने सुबधी तंदो विजिटर वीजा वो दिन रे चीन ता पंग्रीम चे चे क्या नाम जो कॉल शुरू हुआ तो दिन ता तारे दिन एक दिन वो दिल थ्यू क्या की ही वीडियो दी सिरों ची माउंट बाला थकरा वीडियो दी इंजी मिजी ये रेकमेंड चाहिए नंबर तो इंजी मिजी दी वीडियो इमिग्रेशन की 
Canada Immigration Minister Mr. Marco Ki Nyeja Chinda Sumbe Tari Chungila Parliament Toto Nala Karsun Slavina, Kuegetajo Karche Slavina Nanzo Talo Mi Talo Lo, Nanzo Mi Sum Bum Sum Latonda Shipju Shaji Legi Reochiginista Manzola mi godus, digus godus, o digi kwe taji chiri kwe kira, immigration minister ki. Shuma lo, yangyo gyaja chik par ki ins, te shuma lo la mi bum sum da tonra ngap ju maji godus, ta kwe ki digus godu la wortang, anzo Canada longbal mi digam godus ta lo rirel. Chiggins, Lalentapkins, the Talo Anni Tatachi, lap to a yomar, Cazele, two matu di, Kainsena, digi, Chindusumbek, Terry Chungi, Nimudi, Quigi, then this declared Chive Cupki next day de la, Anni Casa, World Health Organization, Gi, Anni Tananzo pandemic declared Chesoa. O digi nezu chani, yine tandu kugi tosim, mebeton ku karla ngegi chigis, di lega di kanda, ah, the kangi tewa in a gang, magao, tapshi chigin, kang to do kugi, and the kanda process to the drotu a chigins, kang to do chigins, and drotu a chigins, cheche kugi, ah, di shere, tanda put the drodi gorta paper in at a mia, you do yama dread zuta. Tanda Nenga Nenga Matuchi, Tata Tata Chetu Mendo, Old Nature, Kanda, Canada La Minung Tagor, Lotta Horish Immigration, Immigrating Nung Tagore, and the Canada Migor, Mimbor Gor, Digi Casa, Tadi Yamani Kajadu, Tadi Tarendila, Quigi, Paredi, Bumsum, the Tonda Ship Shaji, the Tanda Padu. Devil Lord Anita Shuk Cheshojita History in Alata Record of Talucha Taluni Chavi Ure and Immigration Minister Marco Ki Odi announced Cheswa Nija Anni D Tanda for the record the country Lana 1913 Chil Chikung Gupja Chosum Lola the Shuk Chimbu Shuji Vichere Yang Konzuki Immigration Gay Then they Kunzuki, Chashi Chimbuchi, Search, the late Chungyore, the nineteen thirteen mother, Tanda with Chungyo Mata, Tari Tango, the late Mimbo Chimbuch, Canada Mipe Mango Gore, Lega Mango Yore, Lega Bru Yore, Canada La Anni number so the Kugab Simche, Anni Hinji Minji, the Lengu Resue Number so good luck, Anni Peba Mango Chick Della Peggy. Rewa yu, trashtele, toji che, bye bye. The Canadian Immigration Channel introduces the owner-operator pathway of immigrating to Canada. Watch this short video to learn about the benefits of the owner-operator immigration. Immigrating to Canada as an owner-operator is a way of creating a workplace in Canada for yourself. First, you create your own Canadian company. In many cases, you don't even have to come to Canada to become a company owner. Set up a business bank account, register with Canadian tax authorities, create a website and prepare the infrastructure for a successful start. Now it's time to apply for a work permit and come to Canada to start working in your own company. People working legally in Canada, including yourself, enjoy extra benefits in dozens of immigration programs. If you speak English or French, 
have experience in running a business or working as a freelancer, possess sufficient funds to start a new business. You meet the three principal requirements to start the immigration process to Canada as an owner-operator. Step 1. Create your own corporation in Canada without leaving home. Rest assured, our specialists will make this process comfortable for you. Step 2. Come and get employed from your very first day in Canada. Step 3. Now when you have a job in a Canadian company and the valuable Canadian work experience, choose one of many immigration programs available to apply for permanent residence. Canadian immigration system is changing. Don't wait until... Hello my friends. I hope you can hear me now. Let us just very, very quickly check out that uh, you can hear me well. I'm just looking at the chat while checking out that the connection is perfect. Everything works great. And welcome to Canadian Immigration Channel Live. Just one second. Yep, here we go. I can see it. Everything's good. So today we are starting this series of webinars where we would be talking about immigration to Canada with low requirements. When we're talking about low requirements, it would pretty much be everything from language test results to education credentials assessment and so on and so on, right? So where you do not have enough points to immigrate to Canada through the one of the direct streams, say through express entry directly through federal skilled worker. Now, we will, of course, be talking today about basics as well. What are the direct options? What are indirect options are? How to look at them? So let us just uh, yep, start with the basics. Now, uh, when it comes down to immigration to Canada, uh, you should be looking at two opportunities or two separate options, if you will. You could be looking at direct and indirect streams. Before we just quickly proceed further, let me just remind you, if you're looking for us to help you with your personal case uh, and assess your situation, you could go and use the short link cictv.ca slash go. One of our specialists would be in contact with you. And uh, further on for live discussions for master classes like this one, cictv.ca slash live. And, uh, that is the link where you can book your attendance for next master classes, next webinars. They are always free of charge. They're tailored and designed for you to help you out. Now, uh, with respect to the chat section, of course, I'm mostly welcoming you to add questions because at the end of the day, again, we're spending our time here. It's 9.30 p.m. in Toronto, and we're spending this time uh, specifically and deliberately for you so that you are able to ask your questions. We would be more than glad to address your concerns, answer these questions, uh, though we will have some time at the end of the stream where we will be addressing those questions and concerns and helping you out with whatever questions you have with respect to uh, the subject of this webinar. If there is possible uh, for me to check out if the question in the chat section is directly related on what you would see on the screen, of course, I will be getting back to it and I will try to read it and just address it immediately. Otherwise, we will be getting back to your questions, to your concerns later on in a question and answer section, which is again dedicated specifically to you, to uh, us having this live conversation with you. Now, when we're talking about immigration scenarios to Canada, there are two possible pathways in here, right? direct immigration and multi-step immigration. I'm not talking here right now about specific programs. I just want you to understand the basics, where we are standing, right? Now, how these streams are working with each other, how they correlate with each other and how not. So when it comes down to direct stream or direct immigration, it's pretty clear, right? You have a program from the beginning, you meet the requirements of the program and you immigrate. I'm not necessarily saying that the requirements are easy, but, uh, as long as these requirements are met, you're able to immigrate to Canada without going anywhere further. Multi-step immigration pathway is a different option where you incorporate different immigration streams, temporary visas, and so on to make sure that your final aim and final goal with immigration to Canada is accomplished. We will talk today in more details about this, and we will, of course, start with the easiest one for understanding for, with the direct immigration. When it comes down to direct immigration options, which would allow you to immigrate to Canada with low IELTS test requirements, there are, however surprising it might be, multiple options available. 
Not all of them are open for each and every individual because they are different and they're targeting different groups, but all in all these options are there. They're open, they are available for general public so you could apply. And most of them, they're standing, except for Federal Skill Trades program, they're standing uh, aside from Express Entry. What I want us to understand in this masterclass today that Express Entry is just one of the ways to immigrate to Canada. Yes, it's a huge, huge uh, pathway, if you will, with a number of small streams incorporated in it, but it's still not the biggest one, or it's still, I would say, uh, not the only one to immigrate to Canada. When we're talking about uh, immigration pathways, let us start with the pilot programs. Now, immigrate pilot immigration programs are tailored and designed for those individuals who are able to come to specific areas in Canada, traditionally underpopulated areas, uh, those who have a job offer in those areas, who are able to settle there, live there, stay there. Now, I'm not necessarily uh, saying that this, these areas are, uh, say, have harsh weather conditions that they are so underpopulated that there is barely like nothing to eat and so on. Of course not. We're talking about areas where they just desperately need additional specialists to come in because typically highly specialized individuals would prefer other places, other locations to live in, right? So say if we give an example in here, uh, let us look at the rural pilot, a city of Sudbury with a population of about 200, well, metropolitan city of uh, Sudbury could be about 300,000 people, right? Versus Toronto and suburbs with 5 million people, right? Where you would go probably to the latest one, right? That is why Sudbury is looking to attract specialists under the rural pilot. Now, when we are talking about pilots, there are two separate ways to look at them. One uh, uh, pilot program or pilot programs are incorporated under the federal streams, right so that are uh, the rural pilot that's atlantic pilot that's caregiver pilot and all of them have this or that way low ielts test requirements right so it all starts with clb4 to clb5 now there are provincial pilots the difference here is that uh, all you get after you are nominated by the province or after you are accepted in this pilot and process you get provincial nomination which is not the end of the story and after the province nominates you you have to shift your attention to federal immigration so you have to apply for the final step to federal government i think we spoke about it in one of our previous webinars but bottom line here we got two separate pilot streams federal one and provincial one and there are multiple uh, of those pilots they are listed on this screen and again like we uh, pretty much put whatever we get uh, on a slide but uh, there are different pilots to look at and most of them have low threshold for your language test results uh, self-employed immigration program is probably the only immigration program in Canada which by definition does not require you uh, to have your language test results it has uh, the points grade system, which will, uh, would uh, be qualified as a pass, non-pass, right? In other words, you have to score a minimum uh, points in order to apply. Say, if you got bachelor's degree, if you're under 50, if you got three years of work experience, related work experience uh, in self-employed uh, in the last five years, that would be more than enough for you to meet the minimum threshold without your language test. So you don't necessarily have to take your uh, IELTS test or you necessarily take your French test, right? Now, speaking about self-employed, it's not for everyone, of course, right? So what we have to do here is we have to understand that self-employed probably it has something to do with the name of the program. It's not necessarily for individuals who are working for themselves. It is for everyone who is able to prove to the Canadian to Canadian government that they are either performing artists or sportsmen, or uh, there are uh, some certain surrounding occupations, right? So you have this cultural part in your work, which could contribute to the development, cultural development of Canada. And that's what makes this program stand aside. I would still strongly recommend you to take your language test results because it would be uh, almost impossible to prove to officers that look, at the end of the day, I will be a performing artist, but I'm not able to communicate in English or French. How would you be performing in Canada, right? But uh, regardless, your language test results should not necessarily be anywhere close to CLB9. 
And the only reason we're discussing these immigration pathways today is because while well, express entry as of now has such a high threshold of selection that lots of applicants are looking for alternatives, right? We spoke about alternatives before in our previous master classes when we were discussing opportunities above and beyond express entry or how to add additional points to your express entry. Now, what I want you to do is to look at plan B. What if express entry is not working for me at all, right? Like what if I wanna see something above and beyond well here we go pilots for the start self-employed broader right we could go for self-employed immigration if we have enough of work experience as this performing artist or as a sportsman right uh look at your spouse maybe he or she is able to actually qualify for it wonderful program and uh previously the major drawback of it was the processing time which was very close to five or six years as of now it's less than two years which is uh, still longer than express entry but let's face the reality right now we're in covid right express entry with the, with the add-on of pnp would still be somewhere close to a year year and a half which comes down to the point where self-employed might be a very very good alternative by the way mind you you could apply for federal skilled worker program you could apply through express entry together with self-employed. So as long as these two programs do not collide, as long as your experience qualifies for both, you could go for both of them. It's perfectly fine. Federal skilled trades program is the only one out of this list which would go directly to express entry. But federal skilled trades has a low threshold of your language test, though you have to have either a job offer in Canada or you have to have your trade qualification uh, confirmed in Canada. Now, we will talk about the latest in a second. So when it comes down to federal skilled trades, you have to make sure that your language requirements are on par with CLB4 to CLB5, as far as I remember it correctly. So uh, there are uh, two CLB4 requirements, two CLB5 requirements. In order to qualify for the program, as I said, you have to have uh, a job offer in Canada in trades which is uh, way more difficult uh, to get rather than say, but we're talking about the second option, right? You could get yourself uh, a trade certificate which was assessed in Canada. How to do this? Well, you could book yourself a test in one of the trade colleges. Take the Trade College of Ontario. It's still open, it's still working despite COVID, right? You have to submit to them your trade certificates, your work experience, your experience letters, right your education credentials they will be looking at it and if everything is fine they could qualify you to take an exam for the exam you would have to come to canada which is not extremely difficult yes you will have to take your temporary visa but it's still possible to come here take an exam and the fact that you took this exam and uh, if you pass the exam successfully right would allow you later on to transform it into your immigration under federal skilled trades program. Remember we were talking before about separate selections in express entry with a minimum threshold, which was about 299, which was 300 points. That was for the trades. So trades specialists are able to pass and they were able to pass with their own minimum threshold, which is great, I guess, right? Because that opens you the door for a successful immigration with a very, very low IELTS test result or of course TAF, TCF if you're taking French. And now provincial streams. Don't forget that almost every single province in Canada would have at least one provincial stream which would allow you to immigrate with the uh, language test results very close to CLB4, CLB5. And when we're talking about CLB4 or 5, right? It's uh, four to five in your IELTS test results, which is extremely low, right? So practically speaking, you're able to immigrate to Canada with a very, very low language test results, but there's always this but. Either you have to have connections with Canada, right? You've got relatives, uh, such as the requirement for Manitoba. You've got a job offer. Either this or that way, you have to be connected to the province. But that is also doable as well. So all you would have to do is just to look at the case carefully, assess it properly, right? And see if you would be able to qualify for it. There are many, many cases where it's possible to pass through provincial immigration with the uh, with IELTS test results four or five. Somehow, I, I'm, I'm not sure why lots of applicants, when it comes down to uh, 
flow language test results requirements, right? They immediately start looking at the pilots. What I want you guys and gals to understand is that there's way more opportunities above and beyond just pilot programs, right? Atlantic pilot program, rural pilot program is not the end of the story. Yes, it would be good when municipal pilot opens up, but all in all, provincial streams are still there. They're still a very, very good alternative for those of you who are looking to come to Canada. And if your language test is somewhat close to IELTS 4 or 5, well, that's the way, right? Assess your chances and look at the federal skill trade. Program works perfectly fine. Despite COVID, there were still selections in the program, right? And you do not compete against thousands and thousands of applicants, right? Typically, we're talking about hundreds of applicants, right? Those who have qualifications for trades. So essentially, with the uh, with your CLB score, uh, sorry, with your express entry score, someone close to 300 points, you're still able to pass. And so on and so on, right? Uh, moving forward with this, uh, when it comes down to multi-step immigration to Canada, sorry, I was just checking my stream, right? Uh, when it comes down to multi-step immigration to Canada, that is a different approach. So say, look, I don't have a job offer right now. I do not have connections with the province right now. I do not have relatives in the province and then so on and so on. What I could do in order to secure my immigration to Canada if my language test uh, results are somewhat close to four or five. Well, uh, we could look at the alternatives, we could look at the options where we could come to Canada, right, and still transform our uh, temporary visa to, to immigration to Canada, uh, depending on how exactly it would play out, but there are different opportunities, right? So one of the options listed in here, and I will be giving you several examples today, is when you receive a temporary visa to Canada, you are coming to visit your relatives, you are coming here for the purpose of uh, talking to business representatives because your company has sent you for an exhibition. You're coming here for the language test or we're coming here for, uh, say, language courses, right? You're taking a particular course in English or in French combined with a business skills course and so on, right? And when you came to Canada, there are multiple opportunities to increase your language test, right, or language abilities. And there are multiple opportunities for you to connect yourself with an employer in Canada.